An amazing turnout this Saturday in Niagara Falls for the Justice for Black Lives rally. Joining us now, the organizer of that rally, Sherry Darlene. Sherry, big smile on your face right now. You must be very happy with how things went on Saturday. I am extremely happy. A little bit of disbelief. There's so many feelings. It was a, an amazing experience for everyone. What were you expecting as far as turnout? <laughs> well, initially, I had given myself a $100 budget and maybe 50, 50 friends, family and friends. I was kind of forcing them to come out there and support me with our signs on Victoria Avenue. What do you attribute the, the groundswell of support? Your numbers were somewhere between three and 4,000. I think it was, we really hit the ground moving as far as getting the flyers out on uh, social media um, with being, you know, a little bit of a older lady. Um, I really wasn't aware of the power of social media. So I think that had a lot to do with it. And the fact that it's come to the forefront. People are passionate. People were sitting at home and they wanted to do something. They just didn't know what to do. And I kind of gave them an outlet. Sherry, it's been incredible, and, and maybe incredible is the wrong word, flabbergasting to watch what has been happening in some of the protests in the United States, where the rallies began as a protest against violence, and then the rallies were, you know, violence was actually brought to the rallies and sometimes from those officials who were there to try and keep the peace during the rallies. We didn't experience anything like that here in Niagara Falls. No, we didn't. And um, I actually, um, there was a huge pushback from some members of the community and other organizations about my extending an invitation to the Niagara Regional Police. And um, I didn't budge on it. I didn't budge on it. I feel like in order to move forward and, and rather than staying stuck, we need to make them inclusive because these, these organizations that were pushing back and you know, demanding that I not have them there and how dare I, they need to understand that with, you want, they want me to do the same thing that's being done to black people. You want me to hate a whole group of people because there's some bad apples rather than sitting down at the table and coming up, you know, picking apart that system that allows these bad apples to exist and be on our police force and police our communities. So that's, that's the angle I'm going at. I, we don't, I think a lot of white people are mistaken when they give us their support. We don't want you to hate for us. We don't want you to uh, vandalize for us. You know, we want you to be our allies when we go to the, you know, the top of the line and say, these are the changes that need to, be, to happen. It's systemic racism. And that's why it's been able to stay alive this long. We have to pick apart that system and sit back down at the table and put it back together with black people at the table this time. It's quite heartening to see that all races, all colors, all ages, all genders were there at the rally. Yes, it was. I've, I've seen, you know, even our disabled, they were there in their wheelchairs, dressed in their black with their signs. It was, it was so powerful, so moving. I've received a flood of emails with, you know, that was one of the best experiences of my life. Thank you for providing that for me. Sherry, can you respond to the comment that Premier Doug Ford no made last week or the week before and that Premier, really Canada doesn't have zero racism? Zero uh, that, that was a comment that really targeting the black backfired on the Premier. Or any um, I think he's like a lot of white people in Canada that because you don't know the reality of being black in Canada, how would you know that? How would you don't expose yourself to that experience? You just assume there's a lot of white people, even, you know, we have white people in our family and th they were just really, they didn't think it existed. But like I said, it is here. It is just as bad as the U.S. It's just not the physical, you know? I don't fear for my physical being in Canada. Uh, it's more mental and emotional. It's done at the workplace. It's done at the stores. It's done pretty much everywhere you go, there's a good chance you're going to encounter it. And, it's and that mental and emotional can can really scar a person. Absolutely, for a long time. absolutely. There's days where I just have to stay in my house, and I have to be okay with I'm emotionally can't go outside and deal with it because I may not handle it properly. What do you hope comes of this peaceful protest? There was also one in Niagara on the Lake on Friday. Mm -hmm. What do you hope comes of these? Oh, we're moving forward for change. It has to happen. Um, the idea that 
um, the next generation would still have to be going through what I went through, what my son went through, as far as the systemic racism in the school board, you know, in the school boards, the workplace is it's it's time for change. Enough is enough. Thanks for your time today, Sherry. Uh, some great thoughts, some great plans in motion, and uh, let's hope that we do see a move towards Absolutely. equality for all lives, for Black lives and all other minorities. Thank you for having me. Have a good day.